<clears throat> Final tap. Hey, hey everybody! everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Training C. Uh, You're Trenny. I'm Trenny. I'm C. This is C. There you go. It's the it's, same way we rehearsed I, it. You know, it's just like, it's like <laughs> saying, it's like... Are you over it? G- Jimmy Jillikers. I've said it so Jimmy many times, Jillikers. it's lost all the meaning. Fair enough. Anyway. Um, all right. We've got something very cool today, as we always do, but this is especially cool. Our month of October is mm-hmm. freaking stacked. Yeah, and we're sponsored by Stacy Kyle and Lionheart Spirits and the Douglas Lang lineup. Oh, uh, and they got a good lineup. They sure do. So this one here is the Galdrons. This is a Campbellton blended uh, malt Scotch whiskey. So presumably this has like the Springbanks in there, the Kilcarens, that kind of stuff. So we're we're pretty excited about this one. And it's finished in sherry casks. Bottled at forty six point two percent. Let's. I'm going to show the peeps. Very cool. Show the peeps. If you have not seen this or tried it, well, why don't you go to patreoncom slash and see and sign up for our Dram Club? That's right. Everybody in our Dram Club is going to receive this as a sample. Um, I think at the time of filming, there's one spot left in our Dram Club, so you know, hurry up. Here we go. Quiet on set. Ooh, All right. Perfect, a perfect pop, it's, really. Yeah, it was, sounded like I had like a creaking chair to a pop. There you go. They've got it in the black bottle, so you can't really see the color until uh, until there it is. And it's got a nice kind of uh, golden amber to it. Yeah, uh, for a sherry cask finish, it's not as mm. rich looking as... You it might suspect. is like light and crisp and fruity. Um, why don't you tell the people what the Gauldrons are? What's oh, the meaning the of the Gauldrons? The Gauldrons is a little place in Campbellton, uh, in that region, at the far like east or west or south or north or somewhere. Um, and it means the something of the something. It's something of the something. Sorry? <laughs> It says it in there. Uh, you mean the Bay of Storms? The Bay of Storms is exactly what I was alluding that's, to. I mean, yeah, that's basic, pretty much nailed. You basically that. said yeah. it. Um, so, so yeah. <laughs> this okay. Like, okay, let's yeah, let's get to the let's get down to business here. So, fruity and light and crisp and like totally fruity. Just, I, it's actually like mm. not completely was what I was expecting, considering like. The spring bank kind of has that like uh, margarita rim salted yeah, lime kind of thing. It has an effervescence to it. Yeah. Where this is, to me, this is like Fig Newton. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of biscuitiness going on there. and like the, Yeah, there's some doughiness. And the fruits are like kind of darker fruits, like you said, with figs. But I, I think also we got to keep in mind like <sighs> these this liquid has been in you know, casks and then bottles and then finally in this mm-hmm. glass and it's finally getting some air to it. So I don't actually mind roughing it up a little bit. Oh, I, th- I think you got to activate it yeah. with the roughage. Exactly. But yeah, it has some of the, um, even kind of like, um, vegetal, like, um, raisin maybe. It's it, when you say vegetal, it's actually I'm kind of like it has like almost like a cucumber skin kind of a nose to it too. Yeah, I mean there's, it's like that's like, like the green, fresh. There's like yeah, some green greenness. fresh greenness to it. Let's give it a taste and then revisit the nose. Okay. Oh, that's oh, more. That's different. that's more got the when you talked about like Springbank's like essence, yeah, I got taste the it. Kind of thing. And I'm not saying that there, I don't know that there's any Springbank in this at all, but I'm saying that it does have this like effervescence. It's got a little bit of a mouth presence and a tingle yeah. and a feel. It lets you know it's there. Mm-hmm. Um, what do it you also say has it? like a little bit more of that kind of like salted style to Ooh, it, like salted right. caramel. It does have a little salty note to it. A little bit of a ocean... Mm-hmm. Ocean spray. Ocean presence. Forty six point two. It drinks. It's kind of, you know, there's like, like a, it. like it reminds me a little bit of a burnt, like burnt sugar creme, like the topping of a creme brulee or something. 
It's very like creamy though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like rich and like buttery, creamy. And then the finish is actually quite, quite long. Like it quite it lingers. It lets lets it linger. It does let it linger, and mm. but it lets it tingle a little bit on the back of your tongue. Like I'm going back to the nose. Well, it's still more of the same. It's got like that big it, Newton the, it bisky makes the, fruitiness. Like the the like, flavor kind of makes the nose make a little bit more sense too, though. Like, but it's it's fruity sherry. It's not leather like bigly richly sherry. No. It's more of the like um, the crisp, sweet fruity on the nose. Well, and I know, and we've talked about this before, but um, we always think of sherry as kind of one thing. When in reality, like sherry as a uh, alcohol has so many variations. Oh, totally. You know, it's like, and like this, uh, this almost has like that drying effect. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah. And the sweetness is like a six out of ten kind of scale. Like it's mm. just a little bit like lightly sweetened. I'm enjoying this one. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's forty six point two percent. That's a, like it, kind it, of a sweet spot. It does it well. Um, so if you're interested in trying something like this, uh, Patreon.com/slash Trendy and See. And um, thank you again, Stacy Kyle, uh, Lionheart Spirits, Douglas Lang, and um, we got a good one on our hands here. And yep. uh, so do you, <laughs> with us, with us, yeah. yeah. With us. So, so click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Yeah. Cheers. Absolutely. If you must. See you well.